All right, so we got Koopa Tia here, day before NCAA cross country. Uh, I guess, first question, like, you know, you were fourth in the Olympic trials, you ran 13-12 outdoors. I'm sure you had some interest from like, you know, agents, sponsors, that sort of thing. Why'd you come back to run cross country this fall? Yeah, um, you know, I've enjoyed all my time at the University of Oregon and um, a lot of it was just the team aspect of, uh, you know, being out here, I think winning that indoor title, uh, you really got like the camaraderie mm -hmm. uh, that comes with, you know, being in college. And um, you don't really get that post-collegiately as much. Um, and I think I wanted to come back for one more, like go around uh, where I really had a team and um, kind of, you know, people behind me uh, and, you know, getting to do it and qualifying team to nationals that I really believe in. So um, I think, yeah, it just made sense. I, I had a couple classes to finish anyway. So um, kind of everything just added up and it made sense to, you know, come back and uh, give cross a go because that's I think one thing that I don't necessarily have under my belt yeah. would be a cross title so that was kind of the um, you know main driving force behind coming back yeah did you uh, is this your last race now or do you have track as well uh, I have track eligibility I'm just kind of trying to figure some stuff out and figure out if kind of what I'm going to do after so that's what the rest of uh, you know November and December will kind of look like figuring that out all right so maybe Cooper Tia's last race in the who knows um, Hard to say. Did you put the cell job then on Cole Hawker and he didn't come back and run cross country with you this fall? Were you trying to recruit him to make the team better? I did actually. We, I, I thought we had him also, um, but you know, he had to do what he had to do, and uh, you know, I, you know, don't blame him at all for uh, you know making the choice that he had. He had some really cool opportunities, so um, you know, hundred percent back. You know, whatever he uh, wants to do and made made the right decision for himself. So definitely yeah. would have been nice to have him out here. I think uh, could have been a big asset to our team but you know we're making do without him we're, we're still at NCAAs and we got a team that um, you know I think can you know give uh, the rest of NCAA a, a little shot I think we're pretty underrated not that we've necessarily shown it in our races but I think in practice uh, you know I've seen a lot of upside so I'm excited to see what we can do tomorrow why do you think that he, we almost had him for cross country he well so both him and I were like pretty on the fence uh, pretty much the whole summer after the trials so um it was kind of just like motivating factors i think for me like i had a couple classes left and he was you know just going into his junior year so mm -hmm. uh he didn't necessarily have the school motivation to come back i think he's, he's still taking class and gonna probably get his degree so um there we just had a couple different motivating factors and i mean obviously he got six of the olympics and, and won the trial so i think he maybe had a little more um monetary incentive um might be but who knows really i think uh we're just in two different places and uh i'm excited to continue training with him after probably so um and he's he's still around he's still at uh hayward every day and we still see him in in workouts and everything so it's not like that much has changed nice so what do you make of your cross country season to this point yeah i actually came into this season never having won a cross country race in college mm -hmm. uh so got the notch on my belt won my first cross country race um yeah, it's, it's been really fun. A lot of it's just kind of been a learning curve. It's been a while since we've run cross country. So, um, yeah, I think it's been a really good season so far. You know, just been competing with some of the best guys in the country. I think, you know, consistently racing people like Charles Hicks, um, you know, Eduardo Herrera, and, you know, some of the other guys at, like, Wisconsin, racing Kip 2, kind of getting a feel for how they race. And um, mostly just trying to be competitive. Um, I think it's, it's kind of a waiting game. You know, you can, you can run all these races, you know, all out during, uh, you know, the early and mid season. But I think what we've been doing is, you know, just making sure everything is geared toward the NCAAs. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I think we're peaking at the right time. Everything, we're kind of building momentum from regionals. It was probably one of our best races. And I think our team especially does a little better over 10K. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, a lot of it is just like making sure we're, we're here, we're fit, we're ready to go and, and feeling good. And, uh, I mean, yeah, potentially last race in the Oregon uniform. So kind of just going to make sure I give it my all and, uh, you know, give myself a shot to win a title. Yeah. I mean, you're definitely one of the contenders for the individual title, but, you know, Pat 12s Charles Hicks at the end kind of put mm -hmm. a big move on you. Like, did we worry about that result at all? Or? No, not really. I think definitely, like, I feel like I kind of bonked a little bit at the end with the altitude. And mm -hmm. that's just like, you know, that's happened sometimes. Uh, you know, I got him at Wisco. He got me at Pac 12s and he's also one of those guys that I think is competing for a title as well. He's been so consistent all year. So yeah. he's also a really good friend of mine. So, um, yeah, I mean, every time I get to race him is, is a good day. And, um, 
you know, people win, people lose. That's just how it goes. You just got to, you know, learn from it and, and get to the next one. So I think definitely have learned from that and, um, you know, ran regionals, felt really good doing it. Um, and so, yeah, we're ready to go tomorrow. All right, cool. Well, best of luck and uh, thanks for the time. Cooper. Yeah, thank you.